The gospel text for worship tomorrow, which is Sunday, comes to us from John chapter 3, beginning at verse 16. This very, very famous text that begins, For God so loved the world. But what I want to talk about today is what becomes what comes right before that. Chapter 3 of the Gospel of John recounts the famous story of the Pharisee Nicodemus who comes to Jesus at night, doesn't want anyone to know that he's curious about Jesus and about Jesus' ministry and his teaching. So he comes at night and they have this conversation, of course, that we've heard about um, you have to be born again. Uh, to know the Holy Spirit, that you have to be born again to enter the kingdom of God. And of course, they're talking like this at each other. <laughs> they don't, they don't. I think Jesus well understands, but Nicodemus just doesn't get it. This text that we have for tomorrow's worship comes right in the middle of this encounter with Nicodemus. You may not have known that or may not have remembered it. I know that I didn't. That when Jesus says, for God so loved the world that God gave the Son that everyone who believes in him may not perish but have eternal life. He's talking to Nicodemus when he says that. In effect, he's saying, for God so loved the world that God sent me. That if you believe in me, it's all going to be okay. You you won't, your life won't be for nothing. You'll have eternal life. It's great. It's great to imagine that they're in the middle of this conversation, like missing, miscommunicating. And then in the middle of that conversation, God says, Nicodemus, God sent me to the world. God sent me to you. It's okay. Just believe in me. And it'll all be okay, whether or not you understand. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me, Jesus says. <laughs> Let us pray. Jesus, have a conversation with us in the midst of what we understand and don't. Tell us, remind us that God loves the world, that God loves us, that it's all going to be okay because God sent you to us, not only to show us how to be and how to live, but to redeem us, to befriend us, to walk beside us, to carry us, and help us to trust you. Amen.